Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, we've got some bits and bobs going on over on the old Twitter watch, on Murray watch, and also some strange things have been sent to me by members of the community that I think needs to have your eye peepers cast over to see what you think, people in the viewerverse. So here we go, let's jump on over onto that first, because that one tantalises me the most. So let's jump on over into the PC! Boom! And here we are. So I got sent a message by Sully Kiwi. Thank you very much for this, Sully. So Sully, inside of the actual patch notes for, you know, the latest sort of update, Omega, he's pointed out this character here. He feels this character here is very odd. Now, it's highlighted the fact that it has got a backpack, so it's more than likely a player model, okay? But it's this hand on this offside. Now, in recent update, they have actually given us the ability to swap hands with our multi-tools. Now I was looking at this and I could see this ball joint here and it almost looks like an experimental multi-tool, you know, the experimental classes. But it's got this like hook at the end. And what are these canisters either start aside with the yellow glowing dots on? Yeah, he's highlighted it rather crudely. At first I thought he was on about this hand. And I was like, well, that's the emote for summoning a creature. That's nothing new. But what I find curious is this shoulder plate here. It's got like a little sort of blade on the top. Now I've gone through all the customization settings and I can't emulate that same shoulder pad no matter what I do. But it could be a glitch of some kind. I mean, especially since we've been jumping in and out of these expeditions, all sorts of weirdness has been happening. And it almost feels like his head is disjointed from his body in this somehow. It, it doesn't look right. There's a lot wrong with this sort of image when you look at it closely. So anyway, I went back to him and I said, ah, uh, I think he's doing the come here emote for a pet. And you can wear a backpack as a player as an auto page, not seeing anything new there. Okay, it did make me do a double take though also. But then after a little bit of to and fro from him, I sent a couple of voice notes and things like that, I started to warm to the idea because I don't think you can emulate that same rusted texture either. So anyways, I, I, was, I gave him a little bit more sort of free space to give me a little bit more info. And he's been going around the planets and he's been looking at all the other autophages. And he says that the autophage hands only have two fingers, they don't have five. And I was like, you're freaking right, actually. You are. Unless there's something wrong with that emote when you're an autophage. It's not like I run around as an autophage every day using pets. Uh, the last time I used pets was usually it was just to fly my uh, beetle up a mountain or something just for traversal but um look he's found this and those emulate exactly what we're seeing in that picture above so i think perhaps we're going to be given these other arms for whatever reason as player models or if not it could be that over at hello games they've just been testing a few things and they've been messing about with a few things maybe it's just a little bit of playing about. Maybe it's not going to be something that comes into iteration, but it's a bloody odd picture nonetheless. And after I saw that, and saw that it's got those little canisters, which it clearly has in that picture above, I I, I was like, okay, oh fudge. Okay, you're onto something. He's like, yes! What do you think? Do you think he's onto something? And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it could be something. It could be something, Sally Kiwi. It definitely could be something. Yeah, look, I'll show you. But if, if I zoom in on this picture here, so if I open this in a new tab, okay, and then if I control and wheel all the way in, you can clearly see that same canister with the little yellow lights all on it. And it's definitely the hook arm. It does look like an experimental multi tool, but then I couldn't explain this. But I thought this might be part of this staff. But no, it is definitely the hook arm because you can see this canister again emulated just there the only thing i can think might be happening is if you have got a pet out and you are as an auto page and you do that emote maybe it hasn't got the body part for the arm and it glitches in some random arm and random arm on that side as well i don't know maybe it's just blinking buggy who knows but it's, it's an oddity nonetheless and i think it's more plausible than it being a glitch and a bug that this is going to be a new player model if it's not a player model and it's an npc maybe we're going to start see autophages with backpacks appearing around these crashed freighters because that's where they're standing right now at a crash freighter site sound off in the comments let us know what you think people in the viewer verse okay so the next oddity to jump on onto it's something that I saw Professor Cynical talking about, which is a Sean Murray tweet that shows the Omega 
sort of update and then it's got three dots and he's wondering if there might be four parts to the Omega update. Maybe the Omega Mega update or the Omega expedition is the last part and they've got to free, fill in the three blanks. Makes sense, right? Or does it, people? Okay. I've got some evidence that I want to show you. All right, so let's just jump back on over to the old PC space. Yet again, and onto the old Twitterverse. And this time we're hitting up Beeble. Now, Beeble says, I'm already seeing a lot of assumptions. Now, this was on the 15th of February. Being made with No Man's Sky's latest tweet, assuming that the three dots between Echoes and the Omega means something. Just so it's showing an example of a previous update. Okay, So this one was actually the Frontiers update. And as you can see, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so these three dots. I don't think that they're missing markers, as what's been indicated. I honestly think that dot, dot, dot just means continue. You know, if I was to say, hello, dot, 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 how are you? It's just a continuing line, you know? It's it's as simple as that. Now, every single update that Hello Games does, when they end off with their video, it always says, our journey continues, doesn't it? Let me see if we can find you an example of that. Okay, so in the background is the Omega trailer. And let's just hit play. Our journey continues. See what I mean? Our journey continues. So all I think it means is this isn't the last update of the year. There's going to be other updates in the year. I don't think that they're missing sort of dots in between, say, you know, Echoes and Omega. I, I honestly don't. I just think it means that our journey continues. That's pretty much it. There's going to be more updates this year. So I don't think there's any more segments to Omega. But I do think we haven't had the fourth part of the ARG because... Sean of the Murrays hasn't made that clear in the patch notes or even in his post that he's put out onto the Twitterverse. Okay, so now going on to Sean Murray, Twitter watch, the Murray watch. Here we go, let's scroll on down so you can see here they've now just filled out this little placeholder thing, which is lovely. And funny enough, they haven't pinned this update this year. What is pinned is still Light No Fire. And so that kind of indicates that perhaps Light No Fire might come out this year. But normally they pin the biggest thing that's happening this year at the top of their actual page. So until we get something lovely and big, that's remaining pinned there. So Omega wasn't a mega update. Uh, or else it'd be pinned up there, wouldn't it? And also it was all a, it was 4.5. Normally big updates is like a, a rounded off number, like version 5 or whatever. Some lovely pictures being retweeted by the Murray, has to say, I have to say, yeah, really nice pictures. There was a tweet just the other day that was very interesting though. So, oh, lots of patches coming out inside of the verse as well. So even though experimental players got to play the expedition early and they did find a load of fixes, now that it's out on all consoles, there's a shed load of fixes. And as you can see there, there's some that are specific to PC and some that are specific to PlayStation and Xbox. So yeah, obviously we couldn't test everything over here on PC experimental. So it makes you wonder, what was the point? But anyway, let's scroll on down. Some lovely fan art as well. Some beautiful pictures being taken of these new sentinel dreadnoughts but this is what really caught my attention so somebody done this little mock-up of the new starborn runner ship placed into a wipeout 2077 uh, i think it's 2077 there's one of them anyway something like that wipeout collection in fact there is a game wipeout omega collection anyway it looks like it's been superposed superimposed into wipeout and Sean Murray put an OK hand there. So that means ship racing is coming. Is Sean Murray is like, OK, yeah, that's on the table. So ship racing, has it been confirmed? I don't know. I mean, I'm going by the little decal that's on this sort of racer. The little decal on this racer is actually, heck yes. And we see these sort of emotes or these little sort of decals on things like the Neutron Processor and he's got a chef hat on. And I've done countless videos on this, so I don't really need to cover the old ground. But that to me signifies that we are to get ship racing at some point or racing of some kind using this ship inside of the game is what I'm thinking, people. And the fact that Sean Murray has retweeted that out almost to me is some sort of visual cue to say, yeah, it could be on the table, at least on the table, people. It's... It's more plausible that it's going to come now that I've seen this than it was the other week when I was making my ship racing videos. So it is that. Anyway, 
It has been three. No Man's Sky has been free on virtually every platform to pe for people to pick up and play over the weekend. Hopefully it's brought a lot more travellers into the verse. And if you are a new traveller into the verse, I cover No Man's Sky on my channel quite a lot. Hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, what else have I got for you? Okay, people, I'm now over inside of No Man's Sky. Now, another one of Professor Cynical's videos mentioned that there was bugs. Bugs inbound with No Man's Sky. And he pointed out this bar above the kiosk is almost all the way across. But when you go and speak to Johnny Five, the Quicksilver Synthesis merchant, and you look at Quicksilver, there's nothing that is actually able to run for. I mean, this is an older save of mine, but there's no new items here to unlock. I can't really show you on my other save because... Yeah, I'm running inside the expedition right now. But yeah, it's almost all the way across. No new items have come into the Quicksilver store. So what the fudge is going on? Well, if you are running the expedition, you go over to the log screen and you were to look at the community expedition, which I'm going to go do now. I'm going to jump into my other save. If I can remember how. <laughs> Options and quit to mode select. So if I jump into my expedition save now, and I'll show you the progress bar and what it actually relates to because it doesn't relate to new Quicksilver items. It relates to the expedition and the optional milestones. Right, so now I'm inside of my expedition. I'm, I'm actually on the last planet now to scan and you can actually see below me it says the community reward mission is at 60%. So if I go inside of the log, here's that same bar that's found above the top research project 5 it's now at 60 percent which marries up to what you're seeing inside of the actual spatial anomaly above the actual quicksilver desk it's not a bug um so or at least i don't think it is let me know in the comments if you feel professor cynical is correct on that but i honestly don't think it is so yes Professor Cynical's latest videos did say if you've got a different idea on what those three dots mean or on the bugs, sound up in the comments. Well, I figured I'd just do a video and go to town a little bit. So the last two videos of Professor Cynical's, sadly, people, I, I think there's, there's room for debate there. It's always good to keep open discussion. But at the same time, I don't think there's too much to it. I, I'm not seeing too much to get excited about. I'm more excited about... Sully Kiwi's findings of that autophage with the hook arm. That's pretty interesting as a cosmetic, because what does that mean? I mean, I've always thought, you know, you've got Null and you've got Apollo, but they've got even different appendages that look like weaponized arms. Could it be that we might see that come into play at some point in the future? Who knows? And also the fact that Shaun of the Murrays retweeted that ship, the, the actual Starborn Runner that I'm sitting in right now, this lovely, beautiful ship with sort of like a wipeout background, which denotes racing. I kind of feel that that is a, a visual nod that ship racing might be coming into game, people. I really do. I think that's something more to get excited about inside of the verse, people inside of the... Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much everything I've got for you. So in way of No Man's Sky news, I know it's nothing massive, but I would say the, 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 Sully, the Sully Kiwi tweet is something to really be excited about. And also the fact that ship racing might become a thing. And that's everything for you. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.